Major Mark Jason, I'm the Battalion Executive Officer for 1st Battalion, the 67th Armor Regiment, Death Dealers. My brothers and I were all born in Florence, Italy, uh, as American citizens, just happened to be born abroad when my parents lived uh, in Italy for 18 years. Uh, we were raised in Florida. Um, my career path is, is, is not traditional, uh, but I've, I've had some enlisted time, which then led me into officer time eventually, but uh, it's been I've got to see many different parts of the world. Uh, I've, it's, there's been high points, there's been low points. So it is, is not unlike, in that way, it is not unlike anybody else who serves for a period of time. So there's, so there's two Army, one Navy, and one Marine, the youngest. So it goes in, from oldest to youngest, it goes Army, Navy, Army, Marines. Uh, the Naval officer is still in, and I'm still in. So we're, we're down to 50% still active, but uh, you know, there's always the inter-service rivalry, whether it's it's joking about, you know, each other's services, all in good fun. Um, the Army-Navy game every year is always something. Um, and yet, so in that disparity, there there's still that common bond of brotherhood and service. And so Mike and I have, have young children. Like, his daughter is, is three, my son is four. So, like, that's just... What, it's kind of like for me, for Owen, you know, what he wants to do is going to be what I'm, you know, and I don't know what he's going to want to do. So um, right now it's, we focus on keep, like he said, getting our cousins or getting the cousins together and making sure that they know each other is important. But as far as passing something down, I, I don't know how I'm going to pass it down because he just, he's not there yet. Teenage years, our college years, our youthful time uh, as brothers. Like, we didn't have that. Right. We were always coming together for short lived holiday periods uh, and whatever we could, and, and marriages. We didn't get to, you know, have a, a, any kind of routine or domestic life as brothers, and, yeah. you know, as a family in any ways. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way. That's absolutely true. Like the military provides opportunities that no other sector in life does. Whether it's to challenge yourself, whether it's to be part of something greater, which I think we all really wanted. Uh, I, I mean, for me especially, my experience is a little bit different than the brothers because growing up overseas, like I, I really remember it well. Most of them were too young, uh, but I grew up, you know, in a kind of a shadow of World War II, where the Americans are always the heroes, and like that's all I ever wanted to be was to be part of the United States Army because. I grew up being, you know, around people that still collectively remember the war and sort of heroically lionized the American soldier, rightfully so. So I wanted to do that. And and so it, it, for all of us, it provided the opportunity to be part of something, you know, uh, you know, our brother Chris is like really into flying since he was like his, his earliest memory. Uh, everybody had kind of a different reason, but... Uh, those those things all hold true, and uh, and 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 then the, the leadership opportunities, yeah, just the ability to be to, the opportunities to be with the soldiers and the people that we, you know, that are friends for life now. Uh, those relationships that that you just can't get those life experiences really anywhere else.